And welcome back guys to Edoras. This is a point nine seven Reforged replay. It's a nice 2v2 and it was sent to me by Prince, who's commanding the Ark Realm of Isengard today. Don't know what his ally is yet commanding, we'll find that out together in a moment. And before we get started, if you'd like to support my work, I have a PayPal option, Patreon and Subscribestar. And also a Streamlab donation as well, just to um, support my work and help me grow. And on that note, we'll get started with the replay. So, we have some Urkai Pikemen here, some Trolls of the White Hand, we have some half orc vanguard pushing our battering ram. Urukai infantry, two units there make that three, all with battering rams. Uh, Urukai pikemen, we have some snagger skirmishes here, two units it would seem. Urukai crossbows, two units. We have some Urukai berserkers, two units of them in fact. So Prince has a bit of an elite army here compared to the usual Isengard format we see. We have some Nazgah high behind them. More infantry and the unit of pikemen just protecting the rear, so that's smart. Another unit of pikemen here. We have a blister and some lurch hunting pack. So, pretty solid army there for Prince. He'll need it to breach the walls of Edoras. With all these battering rams here, his strategy clearly will be to poke holes like uh, multiple entry points, four at least. Maybe including the gate? Don't know. But that's what a lot of players do. I remember this one game where the attackers literally brought down like 15, 20 <laughs> different different sections of the wall. <laughs> Never seen so many holes poked into Edoras before. Alright, his ally is... I don't have no idea how to say this. Is 12. It's, it's I think it's like I, LJS. LJS 12. I'll just call him 12 for this one, hopefully that's okay. Uh, 12 has got some Belligerances here, two units. Some Corsair Blackguards, two units. Belli so Belligeth Marksman here, two units. So he's gone heavy on the um, archers and javelins. We have some Belicoth Axe Guard, two units there. Some Harbingers of Casimir, Naru and Aru Sentinels, four units of our Corandas Legion. Some Naru and Aru Royal Guard. Belicoth Shield Bearers, two units. Possibly some Corsair Crossbows, possibly some Casimir's Rangers. We'll have to wait and see. And so that brings us to the Defenders. The first of which is Oogly Boogly. What a name. Nice to meet you, Oogly. If you need to reforge, welcome. We have some Gwathai Rochador here, some Eldamwe Archers. Make that two units, actually. We have some Gwathai Arthane, some Eldamwe Spearmen, maybe a couple units of them. Some God Helm NUR, arm that up. Uh, Gwathai Rochador, if I didn't say that before. And possibly some Guardians, but I can't tell. They're all mixed up. Yeah, they're all bunched up, I can't make them out. We'll just call out other units as we see them. We have some... His ally, actually, Rohan, commanded by Jack the Creator, 97. So Jack has got some Westmark infantry here. Some Helm's Hammers. His general's in that unit. We have a Catapult. Westmark Spearman. Helmingus. These are the um, elite archers of Rohan. We have some more Helmingus. Some Medusal Guard, an elite Javelin unit. We have some Westmark Marshals. Some Riddermark Axemen. Shield Mains of Rohan, more Riddermark Spearmen, Westmark Marshals, some Norentina Warriors, some two units of them, and some Riddermark Spearmen. Remember, Riddermark Spearmen is also a Javelin unit. Or is it Eastmark Spearmen? Oh, we'll find out together. I haven't played Rohan in a long time. We have some Riddermark Axemen next, some Riddermark Spearmen. I think it's Eastmark Spearmen that, are, that is a Javelin unit. We have some, yeah, two units of them, I recall that one. Down here, we have some Riddermark Cavalry, Arid of Alberg, some Westmark Spearmen, and Shield Mains of Rohan. And that's it. So it looks like the Maris's army is all bunched up down there at the moment. So we'll get this replay started. Enjoy. Now, what's interesting is this catapult. Obviously has a huge range. He's going to be firing into Isengard's army all the way down there. I don't know why he's doing that. 
Prince has really spread out his forces here, and so the odds of him actually inflicting any serious casualties on him will be slim to almost nil, but we'll see. That was incredible that he missed. Oh, uh, that's just, they're under fire from the of Warriors. That's what killed them. Oh, nice work from the um, Ballista. That's a bit better. We've got about seven there. Okay, so Shield Bands of Rohan, if I didn't point that out earlier. Alright, and we got Rohan marching out. Which is what he should do with his cavalry, of course. But, will 12 be able to handle it? What's a little bit concerning with what 12 is up to right here is that he's sending up his, his infantry with no um, no spear support, no pike support. I don't know if he has any crossbows nearby. He's, oh, he does have crossbows. His archers are way behind the infantry. He's really exposing himself here. So Jack could actually get a lot of kills here at Umba if he um, uses his cavalry right. He's going in, here we go. Royal Guard's not firing. Yeah, this unit needs some support. They've really compressed themselves. It could be in a shield wall formation. That might help them. What's Jack planning to do now? Is he going to try and harass Prince? Looks like he is. His troops are heading that way. Alright, looks like Ugly is making a bit of a mistake here. His archers don't have the angle. Shieldmans of Rohan are over getting some nice kills here on the infantry. They're pretty accurate. That's the beauty of javelins and axes over archer units. They're a bit more accurate. You do have to get close, obviously, that's a drawback, but um, the plus side is you'll get more kills. See, they pretty much destroyed this whole Urukai infantry unit. They're down to 126. But it's a unit of 200. They've almost wiped out half the unit. Alright, Prince is under a lot of fire here. Looks like he's returning fire. Oh, he's got some nice hits there. But from the Urukai crossbows, no less. So he's taking casualties. Yeah, Prince is really under fire here. Yeah, that's that's solid work there. We're under attack. Jack should probably pull back. He's axe will get him closer or get them as close as he can to the walls. Oh, looks like he's opted to go for a um, standard shot. Standard shot is supposedly uh, a bit more accurate. Uh, it doesn't really have the splash damage that the fire shot has. Yeah, so okay. He's created four, uh, three entry points actually. He's created three entry points. His better rims here, but he's not using it. Now, let's see how 12 is doing. You see Jack with the cavalry over there. Wow, 12 was sending his crossbows, his Corsair Blackguards to hunt the cavalry. There was no way they were going to catch him. I don't know what he was thinking. His cab turned around. I think Jack missed a big opportunity. They could have taken some serious weapons away from the attackers. Yep, yeah, there is no... There was no spears, no pike units. 
That was entirely in Jack's favour. He, he missed a golden opportunity there. That's unfortunate. You can see the cavalry units trying to move in. Now, I think this unit of shield managers is trying to fire into the Yokai infantry here, but they're too close to the walls, so they can't get a good line of sight on them, so they won't fire. Alright, looks like 12's arrived at the gate. We've got Westmark Marshals here, trying to head off the Urukai Infantry. This is where Prince should probably commit his um, Berserkers, because they would really favour close quarter combat. And they would be relatively protected. Oh, and Prince has got the Snow Skirmishers firing in as well. Oh, this is a real turkey shoot here. Should manage to switch targets. How are they going to be doing that? They're reloading. Here we go. No, they're not firing. Okay, Umba making more entry points. As he should. There's going to be nothing left of these guys soon. Snuggers skimmers just went to town on them. Snuggers should probably actually try and target the Westmark Marshals now. In fact, that could be what he's doing. Prince is onto it. He doesn't need me to say anything. Crossbows targeting the Westmark Marshals. Prince is really doing well. I'll give him that. It seems like every move that Jack makes. Prince just seems to swarm and overcome him. I think what Jack can do to try and turn this around is just um, send down his archer units, start firing at the Snugger Skirmishers, start targeting the crossbows, basically try and give his defensive units more of a chance. Because right now, he's not challenging Prince's firepower with his own. And so Prince is freely to use it on his, on his enemy. Okay, of course our black guards apparently loading up, but they shouldn't have a shot here. We got nineteen of warriors out of ammunition already. We've got some belly grants firing in. Belly of marksmen firing in as well. They're firing over there. Shieldman's of Rohan. Okay, so 12's making some nice inroads here. He's being harassed by the cavalry. And we've got the crossbows firing in. I think the Royal Guard's targeting the area of Alberg. It seems like Jack did get some nice charges here in the Umbai units before. Uh, 12 is making some nice inroads here into the city. The defenders are really on the back foot here. Yeah, so what I was trying to say before is that Jack is just not challenging Prince's firepower with his own. But it looks like he's sort of turned that around there. It looks like his shield mains were firing into the Snugger after all, because these guys were not dead before when last we left them. And they're down to 52 from a unit of 172, so whatever Ugly and Jack did while we weren't looking, obviously was effective. Just caught a glimpse of that. Someone was just firing in. Okay, we had Elden we Archers firing in, so that was good work there from Ugly. Ah, here comes Calvary. Ah, Jack caught Prince off guard there. Trolls might clip them just 
No, they just got our way. They got away. Why are they charging anyway? Cavalry. Okay, they're running away now. They were just trotting before. Alright. Oh, nice work from the ballista. That's a horrible for Ugly. He's got to separate his troops. Damn, that hurts. Well, that's a good note for future defenders. If there's an Urukai, if there's an Isengard ballista out there, don't uh, comp up your troops here. Or you'll pay for it. We have some great marine damage which we didn't see before. He lost a lot of decent troops there, that's not good. Oh man, that was great like Arthane and Marine Dane there that got hit. You work for Prince, not so well for the rest. Looks like we have three units here at Snugger Skirmishes now. Now Prince is moving up closer to try and get the Snaga protected and out of the line of fire there from the Oven Laterus. Holy smokes, the Isengard Blister just sniped out the Rohan General. I don't know if that was an accident. But I think he was the only casualty to get hit there in that unit. Yep, he's the only dead troop. Out of all the troops in that area, the only one they hit was the General. Oh no, Jack has lined up the helms perfectly with the ballista. Jeez, you gotta hand it to the ballista, it's really good sniping these guys out. The defender's probably praying he'll stop firing or run out of ammunition soon. Now, Ugly is firing in the wrong direction here. But must, have, must have them on auto fire, but. That wouldn't actually explain why it's not shooting at Umba down here, though. But the Rathai Roshiba here as well. So it looks like Jack turned this fight around. It looked pretty dire for him when we last left. But he's managed to come back somewhat, so congratulations to him. It's time to get the Great Hirochidor of Wiggly out of there. Umba is just peppering the whole area. His general's in this unit too, so he's got to be careful. We're almost to the halfway point. Casimir's Rangers, Pelicoth Marksman, and Crossbow Corsairs all firing in this, in this one area. those legions should start winning. Okay, how's Umbar's forces looking? Maybe the rangers should stop firing and save their ammunition, same with the Royal Guard. Yeah, they should stop firing, they're hardly hitting anything, that's wasting good ammunition. Okay, so we've got a lot of decent units left over here from 12. Getting a little bit of friendly fire there. And they're broken troops, they should stop firing. Prince is obviously making good ground. 
we got Ugly firing in, getting a lot of nice hits here, I think. Now uh, they're targeting the crossbows. It's probably a good idea. Ugly's pulling back. And the ballista sniped out two of the th two of the three catapults there and it's stumping out the last one over here. And that's really gonna hurt, Jack. We've got an additional guard here. They shouldn't be here. Well, they should be throwing the javelins. We got Rudimark's units up. Prince is sending down some reinforcements to clear out the last of the defending troops down here. It is 42 to 58. Prince firing at the elite elven units. So we have some elven and we spear them. Uh, most of the elves are shooting upwards here. That's not good. It's not too bad, but he should be firing at this big ass blob of Isengard troops. The odds of him missing are very, very small if he's shooting over here. Well, they could turn this around here. Oh, what's he? Ugly's he's going after the crossbows. That's all well and good, but I think this is the more immediate threat to their defense. Okay, now I can now I can understand him firing this way because we've got the Lord's Hunting Pack up here now. And they're a much greater threat to, to the defense than the crossbows. We've got Snaga here throwing the javelins into the Elder and the Archers. Yeah, I think the Lord's Hunting Pack is starting to return fire. Yep. Few, we've got the Urukai Berserkers in the front lines here, mixed in with the Isengard infantry. I'm not seeing the Nazca High. Oh, there they are. There they are. Apparently, the Nazca High are fighting. They're on the front lines now, too. Snyder's getting some nice fire here into the defense. 46 to 65. Defense is just being shredded, I think. And the fire seems to be very one-sided. We're not seeing any return fire from the defenders. I don't think they have any troops left. We've got the Eldame the Archers, I think. They're all shooting upwards. And they're still all shooting at the 
crossbow unit. Yeah, they are. Let's have the bats getting some nice fire there in the helm's house. Snag is targeting these guys as well. Right now, the defenders are just being overwhelmed. This firepower is relenting. This firepower is unrelenting. That's from the Crossbow Corsairs, I believe. Yep. And this is one of the Crossbow units, so that's not all of them. See, one of, the, one of the other big mistakes here was the defenders selling out to defend this this area, this choke point. Because, as you can see, they're really exposed to the javelins, the crossbows, the archers. Umba and Isaac are just having a field day here on the defenders. And there's nothing the defenders can do about it. They have no cover. You've got the battle line pushing forwards. You've got the javelins and the arrows just taking down the infantry. They're shredding the back lines, working their way down to the front. It's like they're being pressed from behind as well as the front at the same time. It's just good fire. Now, granted, one of the big problems here for the defenders that are standing here is that they don't really have the angle to fire at the enemy and if they do try and get that angle they'll be focused down like even the god Helen because they're poking their heads just above the walls there the attacking archers and crossbows have a line of sight on them and as you can see the god Helm's under attack the Medusa guard can't really fire because they can't really most of the most of the unit here can't see the enemy If the God Helm was here, they could fire into the enemy, but then they're exposing themselves almost to every single archer and crossbow and javelin. Well, archer and crossbow, I think, is more of an immediate threat here. They're exposing themselves to that. And they just can't match the attacking firepower. Like, they've got some firepower, but if they try to go toe to toe with the units they have right here, the defenders would still get shredded. But they have the means to go toe to toe with the attackers. If they try, these troops will just be taken out quicker than we can really blink. And the other way, archers are out of ammunition. Now we've got Helen here trying to get a better angle here on the attackers. Now just watch. I think they're really exposed here, a bit more exposed than they were before. Time will tell. Now they might be stopped firing because they might have run out of ammunition. Nope. Now the God Helm are armored up. So let's see how long they last. Being targeted by the crossbows. Oh, they don't have a, they don't have a shot. Alright, that's the god that's where the god helm shots are coming down. The attackers should really just send in all their troops right now and overwhelm them. It's not it's not like the defenders can mount up a proper defense and repel them. I think it's pretty much done at this point. It's only a matter of time before they fall. 55 to 81 as it stands right now. Trolls of the White Hand are being targeted right now by the God Helm. Looks like I've listed the number on the walls here.
So that's a good thing that they've got a helm. Even though they're shooting upwards, they're pretty accurate. You know, they're enjoying a lot of nice hits there. Unfortunately, the crossbows are getting mixed in there with their own troops. This isn't even Isengard's men that is hindering the accuracy. It's their own troops. But the beauty now for Oogly Boogly and the defenders is that the best units are in close quarter combat and they're relatively protected and out of the line of fire of the crossbow units of Wumba, which is good because it means they won't last longer. And close quarter combat is where they'll excel, so they'll, they'll do far better here. Of course, if Oogly Boogly pulls out his Quetelay Arthane, like I think he's doing right now, and marches them away from the attacking forces, He's really shooting himself in the foot there and really exposing himself to that firepower. He doesn't need that, he doesn't want to give the attackers any more of an advantage than they've already enjoyed so far. Now, the God Helm and maybe the Elderly Archer should try to go toe to toe with um, Prince's Urukai crossbows and Snaga skirmishes earlier on when they were destroying his frontline defense. See, this is this is a target here for the God Helm. And it looks like we've got Medusa Guard firing in their javelins here, which is good. They've got a nice line of sight. Medusa Guard's fire will be invaluable. Unfortunately, that's the last javelin unit I think they have. Play times two speeder, I think. I think, and they're actually they're targeting the crossbow corsairs with their god Helen. Well, they're knocking them down fast. The only time it's too spinning because it's really grindy at, at this point. We'll go back to them just briefly. It looks like we've got the attacking troops coming up here. Okay, so we... Whoa! Okay. Looks like we had two units of the God Helm of NUR here. Wow. 64 to 85 now. The Harbages of Casimir mixed in with some Urukai Pike, that's a deadly combination. Murder should lose that fight. But it looks like the elves are actually pushing Casimir's um, Harbages of Casimir. Well, coming as Legion as well, so that's a, and the Urukai unit. Looks like we're pushing the attackers back down the hill. Despite, I think, being outmatched. It just shows how good the elves are. The attack is really going to start pressing them back. This should get interesting. The elves are trying, sorry, the trolls of the right hand are now in the fight trying to disrupt their defensive formations. Mm -hmm. 
66 to 87. Crosser, Crosper Corsair is being targeted by the God Helm. Seems to be working. Ian's down 36. We've got Belkid Axcar waiting to be sent in. Along with some narrow, narrow sentinels. They should just be sent in now. Try and muscle their way to the top and get into the back lines of the defenders. The elves are definitely pushing them back down the hill. And now Tyler was thinking about sending the axe guard up. I think he still is. I just saw him pull him back before. Harbinger's down to 25. I'm not having too much luck here against the LDM Spearman. Not too far to go. Less than a thousand frames left. Yeah, so the defenders are just being overwhelmed at this point, that's unfortunate for them. But it is what it is. Frames left to go. Okay, so I think we've got Rohan defeating. Oh no, hang on. Wow, oh, look at Boogie admitted defeat. I think he was holding strong there before, but maybe that's why <laughs> it's ending so quickly. Alright, so congratulations to Prince and these 12. Prince getting 19, 1964 kills, 12 getting 978. Jack the Creator got 1627 and Oogly Oogly got 1898, so good kill counts all around. Alright, Prince with his Osgar Blister got 136 kills, not bad. Okay, Crossbows, each got almost got 150. Saga Skirmishes ranged from 28 to 173. The unit of 28 was obviously focused down by the Eldamy Archers that we saw before, so that's why that happened. Nazga High, he had two units in Nazga High as well. That is uh, freakishly intimidating. We have 102 and 184, so not bad. We have Urukai Infantry, 197, 106, and the other one's just got 60 or more, only just. Urukai Berserkers range from 56 to 87. Marvel Vanguard 74. All right. Well done to well done to all the players. The biggest mistakes the defenders have is they didn't really organise their defensive lines. They didn't really give their archers a good firing position. They fell back probably a little bit too early to the Citadel. They didn't try to hold the main hill at the top where they could have fired at the enemy as they were coming at them from both sides or even three sides. And that really, um, that, that retreat really helped the attackers gain the solid ground that they needed to launch their final assault to just overwhelm the defense, which is what exactly they did at the end of the day. Um, the firepower they brought to bear, the defenders just couldn't match it. There was nothing really they could do. And if they tried to, they would be focused down and, and destroyed. So, it's a bit, a little bit weird, I suppose. It's just unlucky there for the defenders. But, you know, congratulations to Prince and 12 on their victory. They organized themselves well, and they won convincingly. So, well done to them. Thank you to Prince for sending in the replay. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.